The type of vehicles you own in GTA Online separates the experts from the noobs. Most people that just jump into GTA really don't have much of a sense of which vehicles are actually going to be most beneficial to you, whether that's for having fun, protecting yourself, or making money as fast as possible. So today, I got you covered. We're going to go over the 10 vehicles you absolutely need to own if you want to play GTA Online like a pro. So if you enjoy the video or the video helps you out, don't forget to smack that like button and consider subscribing for more stuff like this. It's completely free and if you want to unsub later, that option is always there. Just scroll down and check if you're unsubbed, click that big red juicy button so you don't miss out on future videos. Coming in at number 10, we've got the Stromberg. This is one of the most underrated vehicles in the game in my opinion, and a vehicle you definitely want to buy for a few good reasons. The first and most obvious one is that this isn't just a car, it's a submarine as well. Yes, the Stromberg can go underwater, which in most situations isn't something that you're actually going to use, but if you get creative, you can actually find some really great uses for it. And while that submarine aspect is cool, the Stromberg is an underrated beast on the land as well, which is why I put it on the list. It may not look like it, but the Stromberg is actually going to be able to tank six homing rockets or three RPG rockets, which of course is going to be really useful during free roam when you've got a bunch of people with weaponized vehicles coming after you. But maybe the best part about this vehicle is its homing rockets. The Stromberg has some of the best homing rockets in the game. They track really, really aggressively. So pretty much every time you shoot, you're going to hit the target you want, even if they're moving or even if they're ridiculously close to you, it seems to track them extremely well. It's even going to be able to take oppressors out with ease. So overall, a really underrated vehicle. The only reason I couldn't put it any higher on the list is because it's pretty expensive for a vehicle you're mostly going to be using on land. But still, it is a must-own vehicle if you have the money. At number 9 is the Vigilante, or as I like to call it, GTA's Batmobile. Coming in at $3.75 million, it costs even more than the Stromberg, and it's going to put a dent in your bank account for sure. But if you play a lot of heists, this is going to be a lifesaver. And that's because this is one of the only weaponized vehicles you can actually use in the original heists and the doomsday heists, which of course makes it extremely useful. The Vigilante's rockets are really similar to the Stromberg's. They've got great tracking that'll hit just about any target, but the main advantage it has over something like the Stromberg is its speed. Technically, the Vigilante is classed as a supercar, so with the big rocket boost on the back, that makes it the fastest supercar in the game if you're using the boost on cooldown. If you've got friends that are just jumping into GTA Online, this is probably the best vehicle in the game to have. And the main reason for that is every player that's new to GTA wants to go through the beginner heists, and this vehicle makes the setups a piece of cake. So for the sake of being able to help your low-level friends, the Vigilante is at number 9. Number 8 is the MOC or Mobile Operations Center. Now there's actually two parts to this vehicle, so we're going through each one. The main reason most people buy this vehicle is for the actual mobile operations center, which is the big command center on the back that you can start some missions from, customize vehicles from, upgrade weapons from, and so on. That's cool. Don't get me wrong, and it can be really useful, but there's other vehicles like the Terabyte, for example, that do that sort of stuff better nowadays. The real reason the MOC is on this list is the actual cab that drives the trailer. Once you disconnect the cab from the trailer of the MOC, this thing is a really beefy boy. While it may not actually look like much, this cab, once you disconnect it, is going to be able to tank 20 rockets before blowing up. And I think that pretty much says it all, right? Like, if a vehicle can tank 20 rockets, you should absolutely buy it just buy it. What makes it that little bit even better is the fact that the cab is low-key pretty fast as well, so it's not even an issue if you're concerned about this thing being really slow. Yeah, dude, just, just buy this thing and thank me later. At number 7, coming in at $1.79 million, I've got the Cargo Bob. Now, this is a really underrated vehicle as well when it comes to grinding, mainly because of how useful it can be when you're grinding the vehicle warehouse. For the vehicle warehouse, of course, you need to steal cars, drive them 
them back to the warehouse without damaging them and then sell them without damaging them as well. And what's the best way to avoid taking damage? Well, just fly over the enemies. Not only is this gonna save you money by not damaging the vehicle you're trying to export, it's also gonna make the process a lot faster and time is money, so you're gonna be saving a lot of time and money with this one. So even though it is around $1.8 million and that looks like a lot, if you grind the vehicle warehouse a fair bit and that's one of the main activities you like to do in GTA, this is an absolute must own vehicle simply for that. On top of making money, it's actually just a really funny vehicle to troll people with by stealing their cars. So I, I guess there's that if you like to have fun as well. Next up, we've got the Buzzard. By far the best value for money aircraft in GTA Online. Coming in at $1.75 million. I know that isn't particularly cheap, but it's actually the cheapest helicopter in the game. And for what you get, that is a really good price. While it's definitely not the best PVP helicopter in the game, it does have a few perks that make it arguably better than any other helicopter in certain situations situations. The main one is when you're a CEO, you can spawn the buzzard right next to you through the game's interaction menu, which saves tons of time instead of having to drive to a location to pick up your aircraft. You just spawn it right next to you and fly off. What I like to do when I'm grinding with low level players or friends that don't have lots of vehicles is I spawn a buzzard right next to me, let a low level or my friend fly that, and then I just spawn like an oppressor right next to me so we both have an aircraft to use. So overall, yeah, not the best in combat, but definitely the best helicopter for practicality and this is a 100% must own vehicle for all players. At number five, I've put the Insurgent Pickup Custom. You can get the Insurgent Pickup for just under $1.4 million, which is actually a decent price compared to a lot of the other land vehicles on this list. And for what you get, that is actually a really good price. On top of being partially bulletproof, the Insurgent is gonna tank around five rockets or six or seven sticky bombs, which of course makes it great in free roam. But the main downside compared to other land vehicles we've gone over is that it doesn't have any rockets for the driver but you can get a mounted machine gun on top that one of your passengers can use so for the price this is a great pickup but if you don't want to spend quite that much or you normally just play solo i'd actually recommend buying the night shark instead so really it's up to you you can pick one of the two the night shark is a tad cheaper at 1.245 million and is pretty much the exact same vehicle it's just a bit smaller and faster and you can also use a mounted machine gun on the front of the night shark for the driver to use so overall solo players i recommend the night shark and for non-solo players go with the insurgent either way you're getting one of the best armored vehicles in the game so just take your pick fourth on the list is the moc's main competitor the terabyte the terabyte is really similar to the mobile operations center in a lot of ways it's basically just a big control center that can tank a lot of damage the main difference here though is that the terabyte can actually make you a ton of money and save you a ton of money as well. See, the best part about the terabyte is that you can start missions called client jobs from the control center in the back. And these missions are some of the highest paying missions in the game. You'll get around $30,000 for about a five minute mission, which of course is insanely good. On top of that, once you complete five of these client jobs, you'll get a $1 million discount on the oppressor Mark II. And you can add a custom oppressor workshop in the back of the terabyte as well, which is gonna let you add missiles and completely customize your oppressor Mark II. All of that for under $1.4 million is an absolute steal. The only downside to the terabyte is that you can't detach the cab from the trailer, but I guess that's a small price to pay for all of its upside. Every GTA player needs one of these for sure. Number three, okay, these are tough. These are three of my favorite vehicles in the game, but at number three, I'm gonna have to go with the Akula for 3.7 million. Similar to the buzzard, this probably isn't the best PvP helicopter in the game, but it has one key feature that sets it apart from any other vehicle in GTA Online. It can go off the radar. So by going off the radar, you aren't on anyone's minimap in the lobby, regardless of whether you're doing a mission, a client job, or even just roaming around. The Akula is an absolute lifesaver, especially when you've got a bunch of griefers in your lobby. If you've played free roam for like more than two minutes, you'd know that absolutely Absolutely everyone is out to kill each other, or at least it feels like everyone. So having a vehicle that can help you do your missions in peace is an absolute must. It can also tank a bit of damage and it has really good homing rockets as well. 
but the fact it can go off the radar alone makes it an absolute must have. Top two, and in my opinion, the second best vehicle in the game is the Armored Karuma. Coming in at just over $500,000, this is the cheapest vehicle on the list, and the amount of money that this Karuma will save you, honestly, in my eyes, makes it worth like $5 million. The Karuma is an armored sports car, which means it can't tank any rockets, so that is a bit of a downside, but the fact that it's a sports car does mean you can use it in missions and heists. That's cool, you can use an armored vehicle in heists. But why I've got it so high on the list is because you're pretty much invincible to bullets as well. The bulletproof windows are some of the best in the game, and unless you're extremely reckless, NPCs should never be able to kill you while you're driving this. And while the windows are bulletproof, somehow you could actually still shoot out. So you can shoot out, but enemies can't shoot in. I don't know how that works, but what I can tell you is you absolutely need this vehicle. It's probably the first vehicle you should buy, to be honest. And this is absolutely the best vehicle to use in heists. And you knew this was coming. Number one is the Oppressor Mark II. No two ways around it. The Oppressor Mark II is just blatantly overpowered. It probably shouldn't be in a game like GTA, but it is, and it's amazing. You can buy the rocket-powered hoverbike for under $3 million with the trade price, and you can put rockets on it for an extra $180,000 in your terabytes workshop. Once you have that, I mean, you're, you're pretty much set. Like, this is one of the only vehicles you'll be using once you have it. The main downside to the Oppressor Mark too though is that you can't use it in heists but really that's a good thing because the heists would be way too easy anyway but for any missions or free roam events business battles anything like that this will normally be the first vehicle you call it's quick maneuverable it has great tracking on its homing rockets and you can call it right next to you through the interaction menu i mean really this is everything you could want in a vehicle and it's a must have for all players so there you have it let me know which vehicles you would have put on this list there are a ton of great vehicles outside of these 10. It was actually pretty tough limiting this list to 10 vehicles because there were a bunch more I wanted to put in. So leave a comment below telling me what your top 10 would be. If you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. I hope you're staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Boys.